Da. Hi guys, so in today's video, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do simple diagnostic on a microwave. So currently this microwave is working, but it's not heating. The oven is not working. So we're going to work on the oven. So I will tell you guys the possible diagnostics on how to go about it in case you have a microwave. It's not working at all or it's working, but it's not uh, heating. So you know how to go about it. currently as you can see let me show you guys what i'm saying so this is working let's let's try something so we're gonna put some hot water and see how it goes So you can see guys, it's not heating anything. See, very cold. It's just working, but it's not heating. So we're gonna work on it right now and see how it goes. So stay tuned guys. So the first thing you have to do is to take off the, the lid, the lid cover. And taking off the lid cover, you have a couple number of, uh, of screws that you have to un untie or you have to lose. So, and most times they come with um, two, four, six. Like most times they come with seven screws. Some of them can come with eight screws, depending on the kind of microwave or the firm or the, uh, yeah, or the company, yeah. So this one actually come with six bolts. So we're gonna lose them. Let's go. So most times I get while doing it, it's more advisable you unplug it to avoid any shock. But if you don't want to unplug it, the best thing to do is to make sure that you actually um, diffuse the, the capacitor. That is, you have to make sure that you all the current is being, um, I guess, diffused. Yeah. So I will actually show you guys how to go about that one. That's the dog board. Okay, we are going the fourth one. And this is the fifth one. Super. So fast. Now this is the sixth. Whoa. Seven one. You can see the way screwing it. So once you're done, you kind of you're gonna pull it to yourself because they have some kind of uh, they have some kind of clip. They are being clipped in. So if you try to raise it up like this, it's not gonna work out. Okay. You try to pull it to yourself. You can see. Ah. You pull it to yourself. That's how you remove the lid cover. Oh. Okay. Here we go, Super. guys. So bring it closer here. Get it closer. Okay. So you can see how the system is actually. Yeah. So most times like you have a microwave that is not really working at all. So I guess the first thing you have to check is the is the fuse that actually come from the power source from the power. So once you're able to check this fuse, if everything is normal, is correct, then that's when you can go for other options. But most times this can be the cause for it not working at all. But in this one I told you it's working but it's not heating. So what can what could be the possible reasons? So most time we do have three to four reasons why a microwave is working, but the oven is not heating, right? So like this one, actually, the first thing you have to do when you're trying to work on this is to check some of the microwave do come with a fuse. 
a fuse that uh, is being connected from the transformer to the capacitor you understand the 250 volt capacitor so most times when the capacitor have blown that is the number one reason that your microwave will be working properly but it won't be heating so but looking at this connection there's no capacitor they didn't uh, sorry they didn't put the fuse in between mm -hmm. so it definitely means that the problem shouldn't be a fuse you understand so after that they another possible reason or another thing that could actually cause the microwave to be working but it's not heating could be this this diode so once this diode has blown off let me show you guys what it works. You can see this diode this is what we call the diode let me just pull it out so once this one has actually um someone might ask how will you know whether a diode has been blown off or it's, or it's bad most times of course once a diode is blown off you will see how it is it's one is the color will actually change or it will show you that this one is blown off but currently this one is still cool perfect so this shouldn't be the reason so the third reason that could make a microwave working but not heating should not be this and based on this one actually this is the problem so the problem is the magnet okay. so guys i actually mentioned earlier about the fuse right someone may ask how will you know that a fuse is not working or has blown off actually a fuse is made with either zinc lead or copper you know or aluminium wires so most times when you check a fuse you see that tiny uh, lead or aluminium or zinc or copper wire once it has a bridge guys it caught definitely it has been short circuited you understand it means that uh, sorry open circuited it means that current can no more flow there so you have to kind of change it so you check from that or another way to go about it is to use a simple tester you understand you use normal tester to do that so back to this one i'm talking about the problem of this one now is actually the magnetron so and you know that this magnetron is actually the element or the material that produces the wave that hits your microwave you understand so without this one definitely you can put your food for like two hours five hours and it will still be as cold as you put it in so this one produces the wave that works with the microwave and the, and the, the purpose of the wave is to actually heat the food so this is what we'll be changing so let's go so in this one too it has screws or well, let me say kind of it's kind of bolts it has it do come with two bolts so you unscrew it and as you're doing that you now plug out these two wires one is actually from the high voltage capacitor the other one is from the is from the um transformer okay. so when you're already done with the uh, uh, when you are done sc unscrewing it you have to check because that's two clip show here please come closer here that's two clip that is actually there to also support to make sure that this magnetron sits well so when you're trying to pull it off you have to know how to pull it backward or raise it up a bit before you take it off yeah so that one is done so this one is actually to just help you know make the wires to be compacted or to be, to be nice so make sure then at the, after that we have to pull this one off pulling this one off is actually it has a clip you have to make sure you press the clip so once you press the clip you slide it off it's very easy to do that so this is what we'll be changing guys yeah this they can is, all see yeah they yeah can this all is actually see. the micro uh, the magnetron as i said that produces the wave so this is the problem of this microwave of course we could yeah. all see so this is actually the one i'll be replacing this is the other one i'll be replacing or the, the one I'll could be i see it. let them see let them see that old one too no this is the old one you can all see the old one oh, this, oh, is, the this one is the one new using. one okay you could all see so i told you that when you're doing it take notice of the clip the two clips there make sure that it sits well then there's another clip here make sure that it enters well then you slide it this way we can all see Just can you so. all see we can all see
guys, this is the second. Sorry. So most times it's kind of more cool when you're working with this kind of thing you make sure that the screwdriver or the spanner you are using has some level of magne uh, magnetism on it because it helps you clip it very well or makes or makes it a bit faster for you because right now as i'm working the the uh, magne magnetism or the magnet in this uh magnet is actually trying to put the um, screw to itself Awesome, okay so once you are done this is actually there to also help you have to make sure you clip it and it, the function of this is just try to protect uh, this this bulb this light bulb from hitting this wire so make sure that you also put it as it is make sure you cover it yeah so once you've done that is places you have to put some screws there okay. show this way show this way Screwdriver is a good. <laughs> Doesn't want to screw up. No, it's actually. You need to actually. I told you you have to get someone of some of them that has magnet in it so it makes it more easy. So yeah, it's good to go. So we have to test run it and see how far if it's now hidden or not. But see, I told you that this one, make sure you also um, plug it back when you're done because if you forget to plug this one back, definitely it's not gonna hit. So it's cool. Then make sure you also plug these two uh, wires also back. The, the first one comes from the power, from the mm -hmm. power which is from your switch. Mm -hmm. Power supply, and oh. the other one goes this way. Oh, so oh. this one just to help you make the 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 whole wire stay together or stick together. So oh. cool. Right. No, so now we check. Yeah, sure. It's it, it, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I got it on you. I got it on you. So we're going to put back our water there. So let's put this cold water and see how it comes out. You got it. Yeah, I'll see. It. Yeah, I'll see. It. Uh huh. Uh. Let's see. Let's see. It's getting e. It's getting e dead. So guys, you can feel it. Just touch it. Let's see. Is it oh heat? shit! I see the smoke. Oh, well, let's let's still hit it once a bit so that you can see it very visible, guys. I want it to be very, very, very visible. Oh wow! So another thing I failed to say is, guys, sometimes this touch pad can also have a problem, but that one is mostly when maybe your your start button is not working or maybe your cancel button or maybe any of this button so you have to kind of uh, unscrew this this is just like this is the uh, switch system you have to unscrew it and kind of try to check it out and see what's the problem yeah so this is actually the fan yeah i'll show you this is actually you can see the fan yeah, this fan works this. constantly because this magnetor always heat up very faster as well as the uh, high voltage uh, this thing, transformer. So because of that, this fan has to be on. Sometimes if your fan stops working, it can also cause a problem to the whole system. 
by a result to the burning of the transformer or of the magnetron. All right, let's check again and see. Okay. So guys, can you all see? Yeah, they can see. They you can see, see the, yeah. the smoke coming up. Yeah. You can see the steam, right? Yeah. It's, yeah. Okay. All right. So guys, as you can see, it's perfectly working right now. Very hot. So. Oh jeez! Wait! Oh yeah. Jesus! So the diagnostic. You, you, they can all see. Oh shit! Yeah. Very so, damn we're hard. Done, we're done with that. So the next thing to do, kind of unplug it once again, and you now cover the lid back. So let's go. Oh, this crazy! So we are, we are also covering this one back. You don't just fix it. Then uh, make sure that also uh, the clips clip back as normal because. If you, think, if you just put it like this, it's gonna give a space in between. So, but once you're able to like bring it back and clip it, you see, there's not gonna be any space in between. So it has clip and it cannot also pull up. Pull up, yeah. Yeah. So make sure. So yeah, how yeah how he listen that. Huh? Make sure you get the clipping very well, guys. Yeah. Let me actually show them the clip. See the clip. Mm -hmm. One two three it comes with three clips so make sure this one clip in please, here this please. one clip this side okay, okay. We got it. okay yeah you got it <laughs> you got it So, as you can see, you got it. it's clipped, right? So, yeah. you have to now screw it back. No way back to this growing thing. So, back to the six, uh, sorry, the seven screws that we un untied or unscrewed. So, you screw them back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we go from here. But why, why doing that? Make sure that you kind of Make sure that everything just lap as you can see make sure everything laps so that there won't be any space in between the lid and the frame of the microwave so guys it's very simple this is how you can do a simple diagnostic on a microwave that is working but not heating so if you really like this video vlog guy and you want to see more of this or have any of them similar to this just comment down below let me see how what do you think is it cool to, like the system the whole system is it cool or not because most time this one is more better than for you to go for another new one because most time the new one are kind of expensive so why you can just spend more money or little money to get this repair i guess it's cool for you to do that or you can also do it yourself guys so let me just know your thoughts on the comment section down below and if you're here to subscribe to my channel guys what are you waiting for what are you waiting for guys Hit the red subscribe button to subscribe and please i want you to make this video go viral let this be the number one video that is going viral guys yeah Just yeah share this video please with your friends, follow and family guys keep following and also subscribe. give this video a huge thumbs up guys yeah <laughs> see you guys on my next video guys yeah peace okay <laughs> so guys we are done with the screwing you can see it have to screw it back as normal make sure that everything lap or sit very well with the frame as you can see like everything is pro um, properly screwed as well as this side so it's cool guys so we're done with the repair if you have any microwave guys you want to repair you want someone to fix it for you i'm available guys just hit me up or dm me and I will come to fix it for you guys. Okay guys, it's working perfectly.